what's going on with Libra? Holy Spirit, what do we have for Libra? And we have commitment number 36. So let's see what the book has to say. A true commitment is a responsibility of the heart, mind, body, and soul. This is a good time to make one. Partnerships formed at this time are harmonious and powerful. The commitment card also indicates the natural evolution of a relationship from its inception to a literal or metaphorical marriage. At the very least, there is a promise of fulfillment in some form. However, you must be conscious of what you're committing to. Be clear about the nature of your commitment and your responsibility to it. Others are more willing to enter into partnerships at this time. Remember that your partnership with spirit and the highest version of your own self will engage the highest self in another. So I feel like this is um, a commitment with work so that you could be signing a new contract. You could be um, starting a new job, something to that effect. Um, it could be a new um, leader that you are being introduced to. All right, so what else do we have for Libra? And we have worthiness. I feel worthy and have very special talents that will help me to achieve my dreams. So this is also about needing to um, understand your own worth. So if you're negotiating a contract or something like that, just know your worth and don't settle for less. All right, what else do we have for Libra? Thoughts create your reality. So this is all about focusing on positivity, letting go of negative thoughts. Because thoughts create your reality, what you focus on is what you will manifest. So this is being very mindful of what you're thinking, what you're focusing on. I mean, if you're focused on, you know, TV all day, you're just going to um, generate more, you're going to manifest more shows that you like. That's what's going to happen. It's going to draw you in even closer. And not that I'm saying that's what you're doing. I'm just using that as an example. So let's see what else comes out here. So we have the three of coins. So I do feel like there is something you're building. I feel like you're getting recognition on the job. There's definitely talents that are being recognized and um, acknowledged here. What else do we have? We have the eight of coins. So definitely becoming a master at your skill and talent. And I feel like this is not going unnoticed. But it's also hard work and um, longevity here. What is the challenge? And we have the three of swords. So I feel like there's something here where you're feeling like they're not recognizing your worth. They're not acknowledging in a contract or a commission. They're not um, giving you what you're worth. What is the advice from spirit here? We have the five of spears, five of wands. So I feel like there is some competition. There could be somebody that in particular has it out for you. Um, it's It wouldn't be something you don't know about. So I'm not introducing an idea that you hadn't already thought of. So for those of you that have someone that's kind of like out for your blood, you already know about it. And it whatever is happening is succeeding. So I feel like this is where those thoughts create your reality is where you don't focus, focus on your work. Don't focus on what other people think of you. And it does, you know, it takes time for the universe to take action on that manifestation. But um, being very mindful that you're not focused on the negative here. What's the outcome? And we have the Six of Cups. So I feel like there's going to be a an opportunity for you to really show what you've got. And I feel like you're going to finally get recognized and um, receive your what you're worth here. 
This could also mean that you have a good relationship with um, your leaders, and I feel like that's going to override everything, but there may be some drama in between time. Yeah, we have at the bottom of the deck, there's, there's accusations and there's something here, and this may not be your reading if you're not experiencing this. Um, there's something where where there's accusations that at first um, seem like they're going to stick, but just even the slightest investigation and the truth comes out. So I don't think that you have a lot to worry about. It's about staying positive through this little um, drama and then moving on from it quickly. All right, so let's go ahead and clarify here. So what's this three of coins about? And we have the five of pentacles. So that's the main thing is knowing your worth, not not expecting to, um, to define your worth based on what other people think of you. Show me that eight of coins. And we have the page of cups. So I definitely feel like you're doing what you're very creative and you're doing what you are passionate about which is huge because a lot of people don't have jobs where they can do that show me this three of swords as the challenge and we have the queen of pentacles sitting pretty just making your money and doing your thing you are like the master of all trades you wear many hats is what i'm getting here and your experience is going to speak for itself but just know that you're a powerful manifester right now so that thoughts create your reality is so crucial. So if you are dwelling on negative thoughts, then you're going to create more reasons to have negative thoughts. So just really um, focus on deprogramming that negative self-talk. Any kind of um, participating in any drama is just, it's, your, your power is too great right now for you to be focused on anything other than positive and what you're trying to manifest abundance and prosperity show me this five of wands and we have the seven of cups so that's what i'm saying someone's going to dream up something silly about you but at first it's going to kind of stick until there's even the slightest bit of investigation um, the fog will clear Show me that Six of Cups. And we have the Three of Pentacles. Back to, back to the acknowledgement and what really counts, and that's your talent and your skills and the, the work that you are putting in and the reputation that you're building. So I feel like this is going to save your reputation, and I feel like... Um, I, I feel like you're going to be in a really strong place after this little drama subsides. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Hermit. So this is where you are really going within to look at yourself and be 100% blameless. Like, there's no truth to this, but make sure there's no truth to what they are saying about you. That's That's the best way and keeping your nose clean sorry i dropped a card here drop this card so there is somebody on your side that's what i feel i feel like you have a good advocate at this job so as far as money goes i just see um nothing but good things here i feel like you're going to overcome this challenge and you are it's like really recognizing your own magic here really recognizing that you are truly manifesting better than you ever have in your life. So the energy is here for you to have everything your heart desires. All right, let's get some guidance here. There is what there is um, some energy here where there's people that owe you money. And I feel like it's time to collect on that. Um, I also feel like if you're wanting to invest any money, this is not, um, don't do anything spontaneous. 
I feel like this is something where you're going to need to really research and be very, um, don't take any risks right now. All right, what guidance do we have for Libra? Okay, we have this one here. And it says, bless this space. Your sacred space holds the soul to bear. Palo Santo or Sage will clear the air. And that's where I'm getting that there is some kind of like evil energy happening in your job right now, but it will be blown away. So um, just pray for protection from, from this evil entity. And I think it's going to blow over rather quickly. All right, what else do we have here? We have this one here. Jude Song, a reminder for even the most hopeless of lost cases, you can find peace within the strangest of places. And let's get one more. Okay, we have this one. Does it go like that? Yeah, I think it goes like this. The sacred lotus, compassion in action, the chosen tool. I see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel. So I feel like this is really telling you you're going to be the bigger person here. And so don't let this um, negative energy get to you. You just power through it because you can see beyond this. You see beyond this that it's going to blow over and that your um, the fact that you're such an asset is going to be... Um, what pulls you through all of this so that is the messages that came through i hope this helps you in some way thank you so much for watching i do appreciate it and remember the universe has your back and so do i take care